the company Diesel Land presents the Universal Test Bench CR Test 4E. Intended for checking of common rail injectors and pumps manufactured by Bosch, Delphi, Denso, and Siemens VDO. As well as for testing of Huey unit injectors with proper additional equipment installed. Test bench control is effected fully with the help of the software cascade and diesel test. On the front panel, there are elements for manual control and adjustment of pressure and vacuum, computer on buttons, pressure gauges, and an indicator lamp signaling of minimal test liquid level in the tank. The test bench is equipped with a measuring cylinder-free measurement system with a function for coding up to four injectors at the same time. Testing of fuel pumps is carried out using the tester PTC2520. Measurements are effected with the aid of an FMDE520 flow meter. An 11 kilowatt electric motor is used for HPFP actuation. The pump drive is connected through an expansion coupling. On the left side of the inner panel, there are connectors for test liquid supply with priming and without priming, as well as connectors of the filter line. The right side of the panel accommodates connectors for return connection. Connections to the measuring unit are made through cooling radiators. Return to the tank can also be connected directly through the cooling radiator in 3. A rail with liquid cooling and three 1800 bar pressure regulators are used for pump checking. A high pressure filter and a safety valve are installed at the entry to the accumulator. The test bench has separate hydraulic circuits for checking HPFPs and injectors control over the drive motors of the priming pump, high pressure pump for injector testing, an HPFP drive electric motor is affected by software through independent frequency converters. The working pressure upon injector testing is up to 2,400 bar. Testing of Bosch injectors. Install the injectors in the clamp. Connect high pressure tubes. Fix the injectors. Connect return tubes. Connect control signal cables. Close safety cover glasses and run the software cascade. Choose the test plan corresponding to the injector number in the program menu. The program automatically determines the injector type, electromagnetic or piezo. Press the start button to launch the testing. The HPFP drive is activated automatically. The test plan steps include preliminary injector preparation stages, after which the system is free of air and the injectors are heated to the specified measurement temperature. The preparation mode is followed by actual measurement. In the automatic mode, the number of measurement cycles is reduced after filling stabilization, which contributes to shortening of injector testing duration. In addition, while a test step is being carried out, the results of steps already completed can be examined. At the end of the test, the HPFP drive is switched off automatically. The software offers the possibilities for saving test results, entering repair service information, entering customer information. In the test results field, information on correction codes and injector testing is displayed. Additional testing related data, for example a graph, can be enabled or disabled. Testing HPFP CP4. Install the pump with the respective adapter and sleeve on the support bracket. Fix the pump. Connect the drive sleeve to the pump sleeve. Next, connect the hoses to the supply mains and return of the pump. Connect the dosing unit control cable. Connect the high pressure tube and tighten the connections. Since CP4 pumps are very sensitive to supply pressure provision, before running the test, turn on the priming pump and pump the test liquid until temperatures at supply and return become even. Control is carried out based on temperature and pressure sensors installed in supply and return channels. Run the program diesel test. Choose the test plan corresponding to the pump number in the program menu. Launch testing in automatic mode. The test plan steps include Preparatory tests 
graph-assisted plunger operation testing with visual control. Checking of pump efficiency and start mode. After the testing, all of the results are entered in the test report file that can be saved in database or printed. Testing HPFP CP3 with oil station. Prior to pump installation, remove the clamps from the support bracket. After this, install the pump and the drive sleeve. Fix the pump and connect the sleeve to the drive. Fix the support bracket. Connect the oil mains line. Connect the supply hose to the pump's priming section. After this, connect the supply line through the filter circuit to the supply of the HPFP high pressure zone. A pressure gauge has been installed in the filter line, which allows measuring of the pressure generated by the priming section of the pump. Connect the HPFP return hose to the tank drain inlet connector. Install the high pressure tube and connect the dosing unit control cable. After pump installation, carry out oil station connection. The station's power supply connector is located on the back panel of the test bench. Choose the test plan corresponding to the pump number in the menu. Testing can be carried out in the automatic mode as well as in the manual mode, choosing the required test plan step. The operation of pump plungers can be controlled visually with the help of a graph. After the testing, the drive is switched off automatically. All of the results are entered in the test report file that can be saved in database or printed. For further details, contact us or our dealers www.dieselland.ru